Hey, my baby. <laughs> hey. No, I'm just joking. I just want to be a little silly, but welcome back to Dominique 33 Speaks. Here we go over all things biblical. Biblical. Guys, I really had to lift my spirit because I was sitting over here all sad and down wondering like, oh, dear Heavenly Father, you know, stuff really not going my way. I'm not moving as fast as I want to. I'm. This ain't working right here and this ain't doing it. So this is what the Lord wanted me to relate to everybody since i was just feeling down in the slums like oh my goodness god stuff ain't working how i want it to work it ain't going fast enough this person over here got this this person over here doing this this person got this 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 and this and this and this god is you ignoring me mm -mm. <laughs> so no it's time for me to get serious i'm definitely serious guys but i just had to change the momentum of my attitude like i was just moping around all day today instead of like enjoying my off day from work i was really feeling down just about like you know how the enemy try to attack you so i wanted to come in and let you know sometimes it could seem like your enemies or other people around you who you know are better suited for positions that you really, really want or better suited for the things that you want or keep on, you know, giving, 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 giving. You keep on giving, 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 giving. But it seems like everyone around you is receiving more than you. Here's the thing. God led me to Ecclesiastic 911. And when I tell you it was a great, it really got my attention, Ecclesiastic 911. Why? Because we all reference the number 911 to emergency. So, you already know I was feeling real, real sad. Like, God, I just feel so bad. I just feel as though it's not no progress. I just feel as though this. And the Lord wants you to know, just look at how far he done brung you. You not the same person from last year. You are not the same person from last year. Last year, I feel as though it was a trial run or a fling that you was in. You know what I'm saying? Because I know last year, I was in some, you know, situations, some life situations, you know, choices I was making. But they wasn't permanent. It was just only flings. And I don't mean fling is like hooking up with a man or a woman i mean fling like one moment you got your mind set on this and you look back around you were so adamant on this thing what well, we gonna call it a fling that you had your mind on last year this time what do you know in 2021 we turn around that thing was just a fling and the reason why i use the word fling because i did check out sarah jake's message today or whatever and she spoke a lot about 2020 and how the, a lot of the things we did was a fling now this message is important from ecclesiastics 9 11 it says I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise nor riches to the men of understanding, nor yet men to favor of skill, but time and chance happens to all. So what the Lord is wanting you to know is nothing new is under the sun. Like nothing new that we see that we may feel as though, even though we are in innovators, even though we are innovators, inventors and things like that. But the Lord wants you to know nothing new is under the sun. So if we are up here innovating different skills and strategies to get things done, inventing new things, the Lord still wants you to know nothing is new under the sun. Whatever it is that we are putting out there in a new innovative way because the lord the a world always changes and evolves and the lord always evolves us as people what he wants you to know is it's not a race to get to the finish line where he's going to take you it's not a race you don't have to look over at that person and see what they accomplished because everybody is not getting their gifts from the lord let's be honest you may be over here on your knees praying to God, thanking him for everything that you got, you know, setting your intentions, praying to your, to God or whatever, doing whatever it is that you do, asking God to help you, going on your fast, you know, dedicating your life to your craft and your skills. And it could be other people over here, they robbing, stealing, killing and not praising God and not praying to God to get these things. These, some of these things, these blessings that you, we think quote unquote is blessings from, you know, this other person's really getting blessed Lord. And I'm just sitting over here looking, stop comparing yourself. And this is what I have to learn too. I got to stop comparing myself to these people because everybody ain't getting no blessings from God, baby. That's what God is saying. He's saying, so it's not a race. Don't worry about, don't look at life as everything got to be competitive. You always got to be in competition. We are not in competition with nobody but ourselves elevating and turning into 
a better person from who he was last year, yesterday, and last week, baby. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ wants you to know. Thank you, Lord, my Heavenly Father. Thank you. You are so merciful. Just talking about God right now really got my spirit so lifted. I'm telling you, I was sad. <laughs> I was so sad for a good, like, three hours. I was sad. And so just because somebody else was being celebrated that I feel as though it was not worthy of, yes. Yes, but you know what? I felt that jealous spirit come back in my soul and try to take my soul and try to smack to my joy. It had me for a little bit, but you know I'm going to stay in my word. You know I'm going to stay in my Bible, and that's how I can come and bring these messages. So, the Lord is saying it's not a race. Keep your eyes straight. We got tunnel vision. Don't look over here at what these people doing. Don't look over here at what these people doing. You don't need no validation from nobody but Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ. That's the only person you need validation validation from yes that's for one <laughs> so i just gotta keep it real and for two he's saying just because you you feel as though this person over here is strong and they got all these strengths lord i feel as though i'm lacking strength that is not true god made you unique what you are strong in is what you are strong in don't worry about the strength of somebody else worry about your own internal strength again we're not paying attention to what nobody else is doing we stand in our own lane laying in our own self again we are worried about us because they strength, the other person's strength can't help you get nowhere. If this person got a close relationship with God, you need to be, build your strength up to have a close relationship with God. Or build your strength up even stronger. Or ask God to give you some type of endurance where you can endure ridicule from people. People not supporting you. People not liking you. People don't want to... Ask the Lord, Heavenly Father, to build up some type of endurance where you can endure these things. Because we all know we all get these feelings of lack. We all get these feelings of want to compete with other people or just feeling not worthy. You are worthy of the Lord's miracles. Know that, guys. I know it. This is an Ecclesiastic 911 breakdown for you, boo-boo. <laughs> I'm here to tell you. So, and it says... Nor the battle to the strong, neither yet the bread to the wise. So, why you think God ain't going to feed you? When God up here, he seen a whole bunch of people come around him. He ain't the day. And him and his disciples didn't have enough bread and fish. Guess what? The Lord is going to break bread with everybody, all his disciples, all his people that's coming to worship him and praise him. He going to break bread with you. Big bread, baby. So you ain't got to feel as though, oh, this person over here eating and I ain't eating. That's not true. You can see this person eating whatever it is they eating, but focus on your own plate. That's what God wants you to do. Focus on your own plate. Don't worry and look about nobody else's plate. You looking at their plate. Can you even handle what's on your plate? Yes, that's what God's saying. Thank you for this message, Holy Spirit, because holy spirit is coming through this applies to me too <laughs> we'll be looking over here at these other people play but can we handle what god put in front of us like i tell my kids you know how kids sometimes they eyes bigger than they belly that's what the old folks used to say your eyes bigger than your belly you always asking for something and want for something once you get it can you handle it is you gonna eat it all or are you gonna waste it because your eyes was bigger than your belly you see all this good stuff but again god is saying worry about your own plate can you handle what's on your own plate can you handle your own serving yes we gotta handle our own serving while we over here looking and comparing ourselves to these other people focus on what god got right here for you right here now and today don't worry about nobody else yes so that's the bread part he's saying nor the riches to the men of understanding Okay, these people over here with degrees. Okay, these people over here, they got the knowledge. They got the skills. It does not matter. Listen, here, ain't nothing too big for God. God can qualify you. God can qualify you. You ain't necessarily got to have no doggone degrees. It's been a known fact. You ain't got to have no degrees to get where you want to go. I'm just saying God will give you the knowledge and set you in alignment with the people that you need to meet so you can know the skills, so you can have that trade, so you can get an understanding from that. 
it don't matter if you feel as though I'm going up against this person and this person say if it's two people going for a job interview. You already know. It's not what you know. It's who you know. Yeah, this person may be sitting up here with a doggone doctorate degree, but now this person has overqualified themselves. But why? Because God is going to qualify you for situations and positions that you never thought you couldn't even get to. You may not see it in yourself, but the Lord know what he's seeing you. The Lord know how he built you. Every hair on your head is numbered. And he know what to do. What he put in your head. What he put in your mind. When he made you up. When he built you up to who he wants you to be. Yes, Holy Spirit, come through. Come through, come through, come through. I'm getting so excited with these messages, y'all. Now, so again, you ain't got to worry about <laughs> how wealthy you going to be based off what you know. Like I said, I'm not telling nobody go drop out of college. I'm not telling nobody stop you know, studying the research and th doing the things that they do. And that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when you put in a, a position or a situation where you're going up against someone that may be no more knowledgeable than you, what I'm saying is God is going to link you with people so you can get an understanding so you can be my, if not greater than that person, if not greater than that person. So stop comparing yourself to these people with these degrees. This lady over here got a doctrine degree. You ain't got nothing, but you just, you learned everything through life, through the streets or whatever it is. However, you get your knowledge. But God is going to qualify you. Some people get their knowledge in the streets. Some people get their knowledge in, in, in the doggone college. Some people just get their knowledge through living life. So know that God is qualifying you. It don't matter what they say. It ain't always what you know is who you know sometimes. And if you know God, you know that you qualified. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Also, he's saying it doesn't matter. He's not favoring men with skill, baby. He will make you skillful. He will make you skill. He will give you the skills that you need, if not link you with someone who's going to help you with these things. God is saying... But time and chance is going to happen to all. Whatever you are in a rush to get to, God is saying it's not in a race. If you feel as though you're not qualified, God is going to qualify you. If you feel as though God ain't breaking bread with you and these other people over here eating, baby, you're going to eat too. You're going to eat too. You're going to eat too. Jesus done did it. He done, fed, he done fed a whole village. When he made nothing out of something, that's a good, merciful thing about the God. He done fed a whole village bread and fish. When they thought he had the minimum, baby, he's really abundant. He's going to bless you with abundance. The Lord is merciful. The Lord is powerful. The Lord will never, ever leave your side. He's saying, hold on. Slow down. It ain't no race. Stop looking over there at them people play. Can you handle what's on your plate? God gave you your own servant. He's saying you need to sit down and get your own servant or what it is and tend to that before you can go worrying about anything else extra. You got to tend to what he already done gave you. And when I say tend to it, I mean keep going and going and going and going. Nothing you do for the Lord is in vain. Nothing you do for the Lord is in vain. And he also saying, but by time and chance, it'll happen to everybody. Everybody has a time and a season where you're going to be blessed, where maybe you thought as though this thing couldn't come. Maybe you birthing this thing and you just sitting there like a pregnant woman, six and seven months. Lord Jesus, I'm just asking for you to release this weight off me. Lord, I'm just asking for you. I'm ready for this baby to come. I understand when you've been sitting there and you waiting on something to come. I understand. And you birthing something into this this world is big baby it's gonna take time when you when a man and a woman can see a child in order for that baby to grow from an embryo to a fetus to a full term baby that thing gotta bake in in that oven and be nurtured for nine whole months it ain't gonna come overnight it ain't easy it ain't easy we be sitting up there, women, going through childbirth, pregnant and everything. We be sitting up there, Lord, I'm just ready to have this baby. Lord, I'm ready for my baby to come now. I'm ready for my baby to come now. We already know when you had them premature, when you have premature babies and stuff come before the time is too early, it comes with a lot of complication. That's why God is putting you here to bless you. It take time, 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 time. It's going to happen to everybody. It ain't your time right now. God is saying be patient. I love you guys. It's more where this is coming from. Make sure you please comment, like, and subscribe. I love you. You don't want to stop.